Ladies and gentlemen, we are live at five, and Imogen Lloyd Webber has met Gary Barlow. Gary Barlow. Dream to come true on Broadway. How's everyone doing? Is this thing gonna work today? When did we start doing Live at Five? Last week, last Monday, uh, that was the big day. So since that historic thing just happened, with Imogen Lloyd Webber and Gary Barlow, I'm gonna, I'm gonna come around and sit next to you. Oh, oh, look, it's, it's, it is on her, um, on her computer. So there you go. Uh, yeah, so big moment. Obviously, big moment. Big moment for you. Um, I did, yeah, thank God. And somebody just noted on Twitter that my hand was shaking in that interview, and everybody else it Wait, was fine. On the opening night video, yeah, you can see your hand. According to someone on Twitter, just tweeted me saying, "Did anyone else notice that her hand was shaking for that, and nobody else?" That's so, okay. So that's something to look out for. Yeah. Watch Imogen's hand. Yeah. On the opening night video of Finding Neverland, yeah. because it's shaking. And only for Gary Barlow, for like oh. Matthew Morrison, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Norma Michelle Kelly, Brian Cranston. I'm Whatever. cool, calm, collected. Ainsel El Elcott. What? How do you say his name? I, I, know, I, know. I called him Eglehart. I called him James Monroe and Anson Eglehart. I'm too old to really know about him. He's that very guy. young. Like, well, I also old. said, you, you didn't even correct me. It was very nice of you, but I said that guy from The Stars in Her Eyes, <laughs> not The Fault in Her st stars. stars. The Fault in The Fault. Fault in our stars. I did go see it. Our stars. Somebody said, Frank Dolella said, you rocked it in oh, the chat. Oh, thank you, Frank. Frank actually saw me, had me on, per on his periscope. Yeah. Last night, so, interviewing Gary Barlow. Oh my God, it's so high concept. And I just was, I was. There's like, periscopes everywhere. I was just, yeah, Frank. I mean, you saw me. I didn't know what to do with myself. You, I think you nailed that. It was a good, you I did know. a good job. So, um, you're p pretty angry though. I am pretty angry about Finding Neverland. Actually. Because uh, I loved but, it. Yeah, everyone... I loved it. It's a very, very good show. And I've been here for five years. I've seen a lot of Broadway shows in that time. I have never been in a show with an audience enjoying it more. I mean, the atmosphere was electric. Right. And the critics today were Some mean. of the critics were really mean. And they were but right But the critics me. hate walking into a show. As a Lloyd Webber, you probably know this. Yeah. <laughs> the critics hate walking into a show and watching the audience love it. I mean, I think that yeah. sort of like sets them and, off in some And to have hummable tunes. I love going to a show right. and being able to sing the score and have a good cry and be right. emotionally moved right. and have an amazing time. Do you want to and sing any of those? Do you want to sing? Oh, right, we don't sing. We don't sing. I'm sorry. Um, but it, it's a really, really good musical and it's a great show and the critics were very snobby about it i think sometimes some of it's because they've seen other incarnations of the show where it didn't work i think that's you know everyone right. is, and even harvey weinstein's very honest that some incarnations didn't work right. but this one does and it's going to be an outrage an outrage if it does not get a tony nomination yep. um well there's, it, there's it four it. slots but there could be five yeah but there's four definite. Frank Delala loved it too. Yeah, exactly. Everyone in the office loved it. And here's some. And other Kai can say, not everyone in this office loves everything. No, exactly. There's and, some meanies here. There are some. Sometimes meanies. it's me. It is sometimes you. <laughs> but here's the other thing: is that I just like to remind everybody is that the New York Times, who are mean about Finding Neverland today, when Phantom of the Opera came out, they said that it was impoverished of, of, of passion. That it, it had no passion in it. Right. Now you can insult Phantom a lot. You know, I understand why people don't like Phantom. But the one thing it doesn't lack. Is passion. And Frank just pointed so just, out Wicked. Frank's, wicked I feel like Frank's well. part of the show. Hi, Frank. Do you want to just come and see me with from here, too? You're lovely. We love you, Frank. So if you just come, you know, we can share red carpets, you know. So, um, yeah, <laughs> Wicked. Yeah. Wicked did. I mean, yeah. it's just, it's annoying. And I think what's annoying for Finding Neverland is, is that Wicked opened earlier on in the season. So by the t time of the Tony nominations, right. it had the audience, mm -hmm. it had the grosses, it had everything. Yeah. Finding Neverland isn't going to have that time. But I'm telling you... Even if it doesn't get the Tony nomination, nomination, that show is lasting in a way that perhaps other shows that do get the Tony nomination won't. Right. It's good. So don't read the reviews, don't listen to reviews, and it's also accessible to everyone, from for your five-year-old right. to your 85-year-old granny. Yeah. The whole, whole family will, will like it's that su show. super magical, huh? That yes. Diane Paulus, she knows how to make a show. She does. Wow, I mean, yeah. I mean, she makes ma like such beautiful stage pictures, right? Yeah, it's, it, yes, it's not cliched. Right. Um, and it's not overblown. It's very theatrical. It is very theatrical. Always very theatrical. Um, and it's just genuinely moving. And also, Laura Michelle Kelly is flawless. So good. She was our star of the week this week. She was. On the Broadway.com yeah. show. Anyway, we'll rant over. Um, but, and I got to meet Carrie Barlow. <laughs> Carrie Barlow. Let's look at him again. Let's look at him again. Look at that. Look how cute you got. Look, your heads are touching. I just want to point that yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. There's that, actual... That he's leaning away. I'm leaning in. <laughs> 
<laughs> is that what it was? I think so, yeah. He was like, are we done with this photo yet? Yeah. No. <laughs> Do you think he was warned about you ahead of time? Like, there is this girl <laughs> who might... Yeah. Yeah. I think he saw me. When I started talking, every 30-something British woman, i.e. me, yeah. we all feel the same way about Gary Barlow. So I think he knew when I started talking what the problem was. <laughs> He's familiar with it. This is not a new thing for him. There's a lot of people asking about the difference between uh, Jeremy Jordan and Matthew Morrison in Finding Neverland. You didn't actually I didn't see, see Jeremy Jordan right. do it. I, 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 saw saw Matthew do it. I saw Matthew Morrison do a workshop, and then obviously I saw him in this. Um, right. I love Jeremy Jordan. I'm a huge fan. I love meeting him the other day. And hey, come him. on. Jer I mean, Jeremy can sing oh, yeah. songs. with a cr Jeremy has a crazy voice. He does. Um, they're, I love them both. I love them Can't both. Can't we love them both? What's um, with the competition? Why is everybody I, I, I so... I don't think it has to be either or Everything's here. a competition. Um, it really doesn't. And it, it's, it's just, it's a superb show. Jeremy is sexier. That was, that was on the comments. <laughs> <laughs> uh, London transfer, they're asking. Would you suggest a London um, transfer? I think absolutely there will be a London transfer. Um, by the, yeah, absolutely I think there will be. It's just down to theatre availability now. Um, right. But I have a feeling that they'll sort it out. Also remember that Gary Barlow is such a huge star in the UK. Right. Those songs are already you know, hugely popular in the UK. I mean, there was one broadcaster there last night just for Gary Barlow. They were calling it Barlow on Broadway. So it, it's, it's, it is meant for London. Somebody's asking if you met Carly Carmelo. I did. I interviewed her. So She's lovely. So if you lovely. watch the video. Uh, we, we love Carly Carmelo. She was very sweet. They all were lovely. Um, yeah. It was a good red carpet. It was a good, it was a good night. Yeah. 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 Big party. Mm. You stood outside. I did stand. I was allowed in the party. I was, yeah. But that was fine. Don't they know who we think we are? Uh, okay, you saw her in Tuck Everlasting. How was that? I hear Tuck Everlasting is another tearjerker show. Um, so, uh, Lindsay Champion, I'm going to swirl over Hi. here. What's up? How you doing? Hi, I'm great. On the today, other side of the room. I have to tell you, today is like one of the busiest days probably of the year. I've been so stressed out today, but I, we have a lot of great stuff coming up on the site. Uh -huh. um, well, what, what but first that? I want to well, show, show you people this, this photo, people. which I think is so great. Okay, here is like a nice little glee beard moment that happened at the opening of Finding Neverland last night. It's Darren Chris on the left, Matt Morris, and he looks a little unrecognizable because he's got this, he's like totally shaggy well, hasn't, on the right. Why hasn't Darren Chris sh sh put a razor to it yet? I have no isn't idea. He put, is he not doing headway anymore? Right, isn't he in rehearsal right now though? <laughs> Shouldn't he be? I feel like it's a little weird. Like, I don't know, it's starting to get to that point, but I don't know. I mean, maybe one day we'll, he'll show up to an opening, he'll be totally clean shaven. Maybe he's going to do it like the night of. Maybe. Don't they don't have to know. like test the makeup though? Maybe we should be there. Somebody just said they met photos. me at Carousel. Hi. Oh, hi, hi awesome. there, you. Um, he's got 12 weeks of no shave, they're saying, so maybe he just wants to, like, enjoy his masculinity maybe. now. I don't know. Well, I, I don't know. Maybe he's going to, like, go to the spa and, like, do the whole thing. I don't know. We'll find out, We're, I guess. Well, maybe we should follow him with a video camera at the spa. I would okay. love to do a video of him shaving. That would, I feel like that would get a lot of traffic. It definitely would. Yes, it really Somebody would. said they want to see Brian Dexter James as Sweeney Todd. I'm totally yeah, down for that. Let's do that. We're Can down. Do we're down for that. We're, yeah. we're down for that. He's awesome. Um, yeah, they want the shave video. I know you would. Right. Uh, anything else? So what else? What else are you up to? Um, yes. Yeah, so we're uh, just like seconds from putting this up, which oh, I is love this. this very cool. Okay. So you speaking of Brian Dexter James. Okay. I wasn't there, but you were there, right? I was during there. This? So, okay. So this is. Uh, these are the four. We're calling them the Comedy Kings from uh, Something Rotten. So it's... Um, Peter Bartlett. Peter Bartlett and... Jerry Bucci. Yep. I'm sorry, you forgot. <laughs> Brad, Brad Oscar and Brooks Ashmanskis. The, and they're... The, the, hilarious, the hilarious... I'm sorry, I didn't do a good job framing that. Uh, so, yeah, so we did, a, we, we did that photo shoot actually up... At, Caitlin can talk about it, but we did it up in the scaffolding. Oh, look, and there's some nice solo... That's very one. dramatic. And they're so funny. Like, they, they gave me the funniest answers yeah, to their Yeah, so questions, here's so. my favorite answer. Brooks just asked us, we asked him, who's the funniest person in the cast? And he said, it rhymes with looks trash monskis. Which, that's, that's a good answer. I like that. <laughs> that's awesome. What else? Show the he rest. also always cracks up when he sees a man and a woman together, which I love. <laughs> <laughs> These are um, awesome. Yeah. These I guys mean, are, like, literally always hilarious. So. And also, I counted up, because I was curious, how many Broadway shows collectively these four guys have been in. Yeah. Do you want to take a guess? Um, 18. 38 Broadway Whoa. credits between all four of them, Whoa. which is pretty unbelievable. You know what's funny? Jerry Vice is... Uh, he was in a musical. I, you know how you like there's certain flops that you like fall in love with? Yeah. I fell in love with this flop a long time ago called Ain't Broadway Grand. 
I have never even heard of that. I'm not kidding. Exactly. I yeah. saw it three times. It was at the Lundfontein Theater, uh-huh. and it was uh, a big, old-timey uh, musical comedy, and he was in it. So I knew. I in my. I, I love that. I love. Um, somebody guessed 32. That was wow. close. Good job. That was close. Um, so yeah, these guys are great. And you know what? I the featured actor in a musical cat. Let's talk about this it's for the insane. for the musicals. It's insane. I mean, like, there are so many guys from Something Rotten that could get nominated. You know what I mean? And yeah. Then, because I think because um, John Cariani and maybe Christian Borle are also going to be in that category. Yeah, they might be featured. All four of these guys, I think, are total contenders. It's yeah. going to be crazy. I think yeah. maybe there can just be like seven nominations, all from Something Rotten. Yeah. But there's other good shows too. Other good shows every, too. Yeah, every, Somebody wants Bonnie and Clyde time. back. That's their favorite flop. Okay. All right, sure. We like Bonnie and Clyde. Andy Carl all the way. There's a lot of things going on. <laughs> oh, yeah, on Andy Carl. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah, there's a lot Hilarious. of Hilarious. Yeah. So many funny guys. You right. Know? Well, that's the thing. Yeah, I mean, it's really going to be... There's no, like... There's so many scene stealers and, like, you know, guys that are doing these, like, crazy, over-the-top scenes this yeah. year. And Brad Oscar actually has the James Monroe Eigelhart moment of the year, where he yeah. does this huge number, and people literally stand up after the song. Yeah. Which was kind of what happened last year with Aladdin, with Michael Hart. Yeah, so you never know. He won a Tony, everybody. Someone just wrote, what's happening with Waitress? Why don't we go talk to Ryan McPhee? <laughs> Do you have anything else you want to say? Um, no. I, that was, that was a... All right, well, I'm going to carry, I'm going to carry this camera. Mm-hmm. Must be a Casey Nicola thing. You're right. Casey Nicola knows how to make a showstopper. Definitely. Yeah. Uh, Is this still working? People still comment. Hey, Ryan. Hello. How you doing? Doing good. How are well, you? Well, first of all, I forgot we went to see the King and I last night. We did. Wow, Kelly O'Hara. My, she's amazing. She. Okay, so how many nominations has she had? Six. Five, this six. Would be her sixth. Uh, this would seven. be if yeah. So she. This would be her sixth. Yes. Sixth nomination. That's crazy. So fingers crossed. That's crazy. Yeah. 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 She's she's remarkable. Yeah. It was a beautiful performance. What are you, uh, to people, somebody, so somebody's just asking about Waitress. Oh, well, as it happens, today we've reported that Jesse Mueller will star in the well, thank God. American Repertory Theater production. She told in you that, didn't she? Yeah, I talked to her on the phone yesterday, and that's one of the things she said, and we had to hold on to it for a little bit. What'd she say about it? Uh, she's so excited. She did the workshop or the reading back in December. Right. Um, and she worked directly with Sarah Bareilles, who was changing material as it was getting on its feet, as they were hearing it for the first time. Right. But as you know, uh, with another Diane Paulus directed show that happened to open on Broadway yesterday, I sometimes you don't have the people that were in the workshops do it out of town before it comes to Broadway. Right. Has changed, so we weren't sure yet what was happening with Jesse, but now we know for sure that she's going. Did you ever see the movie Waitress? Yeah. The 2007 film. Yeah. I love pie. I love that you so. know the year. <laughs> you just threw the year out like so quickly. Yeah, uh, there's a lot of pie, which I really there's like. There's a lot of pie. Sarah Bareilles, Jesse Miller, it's like a really great trinity, those three. You're right, uh, somebody who just said that Laura Benanti did do readings of it at one point. Well, you know, that, oh, or, like, yeah, you know, it's gone through a lot of incarnations yeah, a lot of people, different book writers. A lot of people do shows so, yeah. before, they, uh, they come, they, before they get here. Mm-hmm. So that was exciting. So Jesse Miller, yeah. maybe on her way to her next Broadway gig. Yeah, it's definitely one that we have our eyes on. Nothing confirmed yet. But... Jesse needs a blog. Yeah, well, yeah, she had one she before. She had one, but... So, I think both she, had another. she did one. She did yeah. one as Carol King. Well, as herself. <laughs> Everyone wants a vlog. Okay. Uh, you're right. Laura is doing She Loves Me. Thank you for mm-hmm. sharing that. Josh she's Friday. doing that at Roundabout, isn't she? Mm-hmm. Uh, and she's currently dancing with the Red Cats, which I recommend going to see. <laughs> Is there anything else you want to say to the people? Uh, that's about it. We have some more Jesse content going up tomorrow morning. So oh, look yeah. after that, all you Jesse fans. Cool. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Awesome. All right. Thank you. Caitlin, we just looked at your pictures of these guys. My pictures? Hi, guys. These How's guys. This is what Caitlin does. See, Wait, look, okay. at, look at all the options. Hold on, I'm going to show you. So this is the finished photo. I'll make it big for you. Oh, okay. So that you can show, the them, show them the pretty. So obviously we put them all in a little bit of clown. Yeah, clown we gave them some, some props, which was fun. So then, but there are all these other options. There's also a photo of Paul and who's. Oh, switched. show me that one. Oh, you want to see it? Okay. There's, okay, this a, is, there's we, an outtake. This is called see, a light test. We were testing the light. And that's Paul and Hoots just hanging out, being buds yeah, on we, a fire escape. Because we were, yeah, we were, up, we were in a weird spot. We barely had electricity, so you know. Barely, we got to it was like it, it was like New York City camping, basically, <laughs> is what we were doing. 
So these are, this is the one we chose, but there are all these other options Show that I thought were so funny. Oh yeah, look at all the faces. They're look so funny. Wait, I'll go back. Come on. Oh back. my god, Brooks. Yep. What's happening? We're not sure. Yeah. We don't know. We'll never know. Brooks again. Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. This is an exclusive. These photos will yeah, never be seen. These will anyway. not be posted. No. So you win. And they're, yeah, no, we're no, back no. to you guys. <laughs> but yeah, no, they're pretty crazy guys. But they, they, they were, I know they were fun. I was there. Oh my gosh, yes. They, I mean, Jerry right here was pretty outrageous. Yeah, and he had to like, they had to like climb through a window for some yeah, reason they had to, to get come, to where we were. They had to come down from the fifth floor of a dressing room to meet us here. So they came from back behind there. Yeah. And what I thought was even more fun is that Daniel, who's over there, was yeah. videoing it. So if you watch the video, you can see a little bit more behind the scenes oh, of what true. all went on. That's true. We always do videos of these photos. And too. you can probably hear some really hilarious uh, one-liners that the guys said because they were all really funny. Your lipstick looks good today. Did you put that on Thanks. for the live at five show? No, I've been wearing it all day. You didn't notice? Well, I noticed it earlier, but I just want to make fun of you. I have I have a cold, so I'm trying to make myself look more alive than I normally oh, am. Oh, so that's it's a it's a it's a trick. Yes, oh. it's a trick to okay, make myself look more awake. I, so if I if it's I true. feel sick, I should just put lipstick Here, on. Here, you can borrow it. It's NARS. I'm good. I'm good. With <laughs> okay. That. Um, <laughs> someone's asking about uh, Krista and Andy and the Deaf West Spring Awakening. Yeah, right That's there. happening, right? Uh-huh. Oh, there they are. That's Andy's fiance, Michael Arden. What is that happening? Oh, it's May. So this is this is Michael Arden's production, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I heard it Which was really Which they've done great. before. I think they've done it like twice. I feel like it's like the third I think so, yeah. engagement of it. So they have to bring it to uh, New York. Yeah, that should be the next stop. That'd be the next thing. I think it's favorite... ready for a revival of that show. The what? I think we're ready for a revival of that show. It's been, what, 10 years? Going on 10? Oh my god. <laughs> the revivals happen so fast now. <laughs> Their, the Deaf West Big River was one of my favorite things. Oh, really? Oh my god, it was so good. Remember, did you, ah, did you see it, Joanne Bellani? I didn't Bellani? see it, but I, one of the first things I remember was do it was from Broadway on Broadway, which I don't even know if they do Broadway on Broadway anymore. They don't. But it was Michael McElroy oh and Ty, was Tyrone. Giordano. Giordano. And he they, was they did Muddy Water, and it was like oh one God. of my favorite things I've so... ever seen. And I didn't see the actual show, but the it was incredible. And it was so good. Yes, I love um, that. It says, why are the words backwards when people show their computer screens? I don't know. I'm sorry. It's like a mirror, maybe? I'm sorry. It depends. Oh, what are you looking at? I'm looking at the top 10 Game of Thrones stars so that I'm not our a readers want to see fan. on Broadway. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, everybody. I, I've only seen it once. I don't really get it. But people <laughs> yes. like it. Yes. So I like we did? it very much. We did a culture much. list. Yes. We did a culture list of the top of, of people on Game of Thrones and who should come to Broadway and so do a show who's on Broadway. On it? So it starts with, with the well, a lot of the people that I personally chose did make the top ten. Who so was your number I'm glad. one? Do you remember? My number one was Natalie Dormer, and she Whoever. who's that? She um, plays Marjorie. I think that's the name. Of her. I, can't, right. I can't remember the top of my head. But somebody she else doesn't it. like Game of Thrones either. Well, I, I feel like it's a hit or miss. You know why they don't sing like and dance? That's why you. I also like chose it. a few of the hot guys like Kit Harrington. I right. sometimes right. it's set. Some of it is set in the colder area, so they have to wear a lot of clothes. And some of it is set where. It's warmer, so they wear a lot less clothes. Uh -huh. So there's some, there's some others. Um, Who's number one? Number one well, is... She was in Brooks, Brooks, Brooks and Tiffany's. She was. Number her. one is Peter Dinklage, who is a stage Peter regular. Peter Dinklage. But he has never been on Broadway. That's crazy that he hasn't been on Which Broadway. Which is amazing, because he does, he a, lot does a, lot a lot of stuff, and I've seen him in a few shows. Somebody there. wants Natalie Dormer yes. and Aaron Tveit to be in Bridges of Madison County. Natalie Dormer <laughs> came that in That was suggested. We just got. Can she sing it? Like Kelly O'Hara? I don't know. And somebody else thinks there should be a Newsies revival. What do you think about that, well, Kalani? Well, it's a little soon for a Newsies revival. Is it too but, soon? Is it? Why can't the tour? Not. Why can't the tour just stop? Sure, it? sure. Why not? They could do what Hera did a couple of years ago and just show up for for a few months. Queen of Doodles, who is always yes. on this. Hi, Queen of Doodles. Thanks for watching again. Um, she said, "I hope I think it's a she." Queen of Doodles. I'll just keep it generic. Said that. Um, <laughs> Uh, Assassins revival, and I just want to point out again sure. that I saw Assassins in London, and it was remarkable. Yes. So I want that one to come to yes. Broadway. I saw the one in 2004, but that's that's, that's what, 11 years ago. So it's I time. think that it's the time. I think that it would have to be done. The one I saw in London would have to be done at the Circle in the Square Theater. Oh. So, so I don't know. They have to wait for that. I think. Yeah. Um, but where's Alex? Oh, he's not here. Yeah. Alex. Alex is little Rose. And uh, what do you have? Video. What's up over here? What are you editing, yo, 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 Daniel? Yo, yo. Sure. Like a shirt. Oh, What's happening on your shirt? Movie characters. Hidden. Oh, and this is I a... This, these are Pringles. They're on my shirt. When I eat them, 
But no, but what? Okay, Explain okay. That. So this is the alphabet, and each letter corresponds to a movie character. So oh, the, okay, like so, Yoda. Yeah, Yoda. Y for Yoda. G for Gandalf. There should be a Broadway version of this shirt. Yeah, it's a good idea. You should make that. Let's make one. Let's trademark Which, it. What's a character? If, if there were a Broadway version of this shirt, what character would you a, have on it? How wh about? Uh, what character would I have on it? You can't it? have J for Jack O'Brien. He's not a character. He, he, yes, he is. Jack O'Brien is. <laughs> he's the biggest character <laughs> on Broadway. Characters. Uh, uh, I don't. You don't I, can't name. Can you name one Broadway character? Quasimodo. Quasimodo. It's not coming to Broadway. Uh, unfortunately. Uh, the guy. The, it's not coming to Broadway. Jefferson Mays and. Yeah, <laughs> somebody, somebody just asked about the Sutton uh, Foster show people. Yeah, Alex, how's the Sutton Foster show people coming? A couple hours, it'll be up soon. Soonish. Oh, I can't look at this. It'll be up soonish. Oh, look at, you, look at you. What are you editing? I know these people. It's Tem Temutu, and Kelly Barrett, uh, uh, Dr. Zhivago, and we did an ask, double ask a star with them. Look at all those cards. Look at all those cards. Do you like that? Were they fun? I love them. Yeah, I love Tam Mutu. Yeah, they, uh, yeah they're, they're in Dr. Zhivago. That opens next week. Um, just put it in a folder where you know um, where it's going to be. And then I'll take it's important it work interaction Hi. happening over Hi. here. How How's you it doing? going, friends? Show everyone your tattoo. That's my tattoo. What does that mean? In Toronto. It means that you inspire people? Yeah, inspire I inspire people. myself every day. Oh. Why okay. Alex found that funny. <laughs> I did. Yeah, yeah, I did. Yeah, I saw people saw our wedding right. photos. Paul? What? Did people see our engagement photo? Did Caitlin show people our engagement photo? Oh, yeah, yeah, photo? our photo. Yeah, yeah. That's our engagement photo? That's our engagement photo. <laughs> I didn't realize that. Does your wife know that? Yeah, yeah I told her all about Oh, all right. Okay, cool. Um, what about, um, I love the Robin Bernaska star, too. Hey, Beth, what are you? I'm taking my camera. Wait, wait, hold on. Let's sit because I like it when I like it when okay. I don't. don't I'm walk. taking my king and I play Bill out of my bag. Oh right. Because Did you saw it last night too. Look, see how all my titles because they're not organized at all. <laughs> because if I leave them in my bag, it's just oh, like. Oh, she's had the so, pot. Like, this is Beth. This is my. Beth's. This is my spring. Yeah, this is what she's been up to. Yeah, I've been a little busy. Yeah. Hey, um, hey everybody, what's going on? Yeah. So what, what's going on with you? Well, I... Oh, wait, I wanted to share something that you said last night. Was King and I long is the question. Yeah, it's three hours long. Well, it's like it? 5 to 11 we got out. Actually, I was told that they have to really get you out because isn't it like if you're one minute See, I think it's 11, a union thing. Yeah. If a show goes after 11, they have to pay overtime? Is that what it is? Yes, or something, that's something, what it is. something and like that's that. That's expensive when you have a cast of fifty-one people. Oh my God! And we went a back, huge orchestra. We went backstage afterwards, and there were so many people between the kids and the ensemble and other people who just wandered around like us. It was packed. <laughs> there were friends back there. Yeah. I felt like it felt like a high school right when the bell just rang. <laughs> Well, because all the children. Yeah, there's like people yeah. in the hallways, like just ah. Yeah. And then one thing that you, we said hi to Kelly O'Hara. Can we talk about how chic she is? Oh, yeah, yeah. She comes off stage, you'd think she'd be in like sweatpants and jeans and just like ready to go home. Yeah, we saw like, her, what, like maybe seven minutes after the yeah, show was, ended. Yeah, it was very quick. And she's like dressed and beautiful. and. Uh, she looked like she was going to like a nice brunch on a Sunday morning, looking totally fresh. Like and bohemian like, chic with a scarf. Yeah. So great. Someone's phone's about to die. I'm sorry, uh, fan, a fan girl. What, I can't read your whole name. Mm. I'm sorry. Just watch it on YouTube but later. This if is you what want. I said last night. So I interviewed Kathy Zuber yesterday, the costume designer for Not Wicked. Not Wicked. That was Susan Hilferty. Hello. Sorry. Um, for the King and I. And there's here. I have a picture of it. There's a big, big dress that um, okay, Kelly this, wears. This is like a classic. I don't know if you guys have seen a King and I, but it's like a classic. You know, the shall, shall we, we dance, dance moment, dress. right? Yeah. It's the big shall hoop skirt. we dance? Bum, bum, bum. Uh, nice. So you made their, your phone dance. So yeah, I made the phone dance. <laughs> so Kathy said that they were playing with color, and originally they wanted to make it yellow because of all the gold and the you know in, in the royal court. Yeah. And when it was yellow, it looked like Belle from Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> so they and made it, it this beautiful violet color. It made me realize that that scene in Beauty and the Beast is very King and I. It's the, the, them twirling King and I around. Came first. The, it, oh, yes, King and I definitely <laughs> came first. Maybe not in some people's minds because they probably experienced Beauty and the Beast first. Right. <laughs> but King and I did. Yeah, let's give King and I credit. But I have a little news today. Oh, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Tell them what'd you do. I wrote up a story about Neil Patrick Harris. And PH. And PH. And PH. Always giving good quotes. Sorry. He, um, <laughs> he's, you saw him the other night. He's not, what he's are you? He's not like? hosting the Tonys. <gasps> and I asked him. When's I, the last time he hosted? Not last year, the year before. Not last year. Hugh Jackman, last year, he was not, he was he one. Won, he won. Right. 
Mm-hmm. Okay. And so, and yeah. what did he say when you asked him? What did you say? He was really taken aback when I asked him. I was like, so, you want to host La Tonight? He was like, uh, oh, well, I guess no one's asked him. I mean, not asked him to host, but right. asked him about it. And right. he... I think he's just had it after the Oscars. He's tired. Yeah. He wants David Burke to do all the work. He wants to stay home with the kids. Oscars are like, hosting the Oscars is like, everyone Everyone always says this in show business, it's like the hardest job in show business. And so much pressure. Yeah, and everyone's and so, so critical. so much attention, yeah. Everyone's so immediately critical. He's also extremely sweet about putting the spotlight on his husband right now. Yeah. That's really nice. And he's got a variety show coming out in fall. Oh, is it fall? And he was okay. like, I'll just put my eggs in that basket. That's what I'm going to host. He's going to host a variety uh-huh. show, not the Tonys. So we think... I hope he puts some musical, like some Broadway people on his variety show. Yeah. That'd be fun. Yeah. Yeah. So, maybe oh, maybe he and David Burka can sing some songs from Blood Brothers. So a lot of people want Laura Benanti to host. But oh, oh my God, we've all awesome. heard Imogen's theory about James Corden. Right. And James then the Hollywood Reporter also wrote some other names, say Stephen Colbert, um, uh-huh. Jim Parsons, other CBS names. I guess Jim Parsons because his show is starting, right? That's and possible. And he's like, what, a 90-time Emmy winner? Right. That's probably not accurate. I probably would vote for James Corden. He's a Tony winner. Oh, I mean, I would love Benanti, but... Oh, did you see his Jennifer Hudson thing? What? Oh, the video, so yeah. So funny. Yeah. So he's, funny. He's doing... Colbert has not been on Broadway before, no. but he was in Company... At, at Avery, Fisher, Avery Hall. Fisher Hall, right, with Neil Patrick Harris. Oh, maybe. See that there? Yeah, yeah. So, we uh, should... so make sure we need a lady to host. Well, Rosie O'Donnell did it for a long time. And Angela she... Lansbury. Well, when I was a kid, Angela Lansbury was like the perennial host. Okay, well, you're old. When I was a kid, Rosie, O'Donnell, you're much older than I am. Mm-hmm. Or are you? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Just leave that. At, let's just leave that. <laughs> just leave that there. Uh, Amazing Grace. What do you want us to say about Amazing Grace? Yes. You saw it. Oh, yeah, we didn't talk about it. Yeah, you That's the show. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> yes. Amazing Grace is coming to Broadway, to the Nederlander. It's it's a summer run, right? It starts in the summer? Soon. It's yes, coming it soon. it starts in the summer, July, I think. Now, I heard, I did see this show in Chicago, and I... <laughs> I With I, Josh Young, Tony nominee from Jesus Christ Superstar, right? Yes, but, we, but I never saw Jesus Christ Superstar, because remember, he missed, like, he the... He missed a lot of... He was sick. He was sick for a lot of... I saw for, Jeremy Kushner. Who Jeremy Kushner, who's amazing, yeah. Mm-hmm. But I did see Josh Young and Amazing Grace, and he's he's amazing. I mean, gracefully amazing. Sorry. And you cried. I, okay, so I did cry because let me see. I mean, you'll see what happens at the end of the show. They just, like, they all sing Amazing Grace. And come on, the song is just. If I cry at a show, I love the show. It's, like, it's about the guy who wrote the song. And you kind of go, like, what a random, weird life he had. And how how weird that he, it's just totally unrelated, actually, his life and all the wackiness. You'll see. Hello from upstate New York. Hello. Hi, upstate New York. Uh, I'm disappointed the encore survival of Merrily didn't transfer. Great cast. I, I love Merrily. And well, I love we, we, I love that production too, but we also saw a wonderful one in London, Beth and I, too. at the, um, at the menu chocolate. Menu, menu chocolate That's how it factory. Aren't. Um, That's a terrible Adina should host the Tonys. Did you guys see that photo Adina put on Instagram today with the blonde hair and the, I feel Drama. sad. Oh, for the person asking me about Neverland reviews, I'm sad because I love Finding Neverland. As I said, if I cry yep. and I cried off all my mascara at Finding Neverland, then I automatically love the show. We need well, to that's go to London, thing. actually. We have, we have to another London trip. My now. thing is, I, w- I like to feel moved. I like to feel like connected to something. I want to laugh. I want to cry. That's my thing. I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah. Merrily Roll Along starring Jeremy Jordan. Sure, yeah. let's do that. I'll see any Merrily anywhere. Actually, Merrily could be. Did they ever? Did they do that? It could. It literally could be Andy Mientes, Jeremy, and Christopher Rodriguez. I yeah, just really thought of another. Yeah. I just thought of another good person to play Mary. I can't remember Let's who it was. Let's see what you think of it. But you know what just came up in my head right now? Mm-hmm. Kelly Clarkson can play Mary. Mary and Merrily. Why not? She wants to do Broadway. It's more appropriate than Funny Girl. Uh, what else? Uh, carousel, 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 carousel. Yes, 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 yes. yes, yes. Jesse Mueller. Okay, what, anything else you want to share before we sign off? Uh, no. This is actually, it's almost 5.30. This has been I'm a... going to see Fun Home tonight. Oh my God, so am I. We're Not together. <laughs> Not, we're on the same schedule now. Uh, Fun Home, I know. I, we I, shot off Broadway, loved it. Such a moving show. You know what's funny though? I don't remember that much about it. Like, okay. I remember like... It's burned in there. Yeah, I remember yeah. that Judy, I think Judy Kuhn will, will probably win keys. a Tony Award. The Ring of Keys song was really brilliant. What's that? What are you oh, asking? that was good. Is that is that Sydney Lucas's song? Yeah, that was that was great. Yeah. Stephanie yeah, J. Block sure. as Fanny Bryce. Sure, yes. She has said that to us when she was nominated. You remember? Yeah, dream role. Mm-hmm, Red revival. Name. Yeah, why not? How come I feel like people have the same topics every day? Because we're all obsessed with the same things every day. Judy Kuhn, Pocahontas. You're right. Isn't it about time she wins a Tony? Hello. She when when I was a, a lot when I was a teenager, she did Les Mis and Chess. 
right in a row, and they were both like killer and rags. I, I was gonna sing her big song. Okay, okay. Uh, that was a, that's a good sign. Of one you. more Jew in her rags. That's uh, that's, that's what I remember. Really beautiful. But all I have is rags. Um, Come on during the curtain call tonight at Fun Home. We'll all be looking at you because in the round. Oh, and by the way, let me just throw this out there. King and I opens tonight. Yes, and it's Kelly's birthday. Happy Jeffrey, birthday, you're such Kelly. a you're such a super fan. You're growing up, become super fan. I love it. You, you're right. I did talk to Judy Kuhn about that on Show People. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Um, it's nice to see like certain like people pop up who are always watching us. Yeah, it's like friends. Uh, so King and I opens tonight. We will not be doing uh, interviews. They, they're, there's no video. There's not, you know. They're just gonna enjoy their party. There, there's, there's no so prep. Many I mean, they're, they're gonna. Our photographer Bruce will be there taking pictures, but there's no opportunity to interview the cast tonight, unfortunately. Yeah. So there won't be an opening night video tomorrow. But um, hopefully, we're gonna do uh, something Some other special stuff with them. Yeah, we're gonna do something else with them. We're gonna do other other stuff on the King and I. So anyway, don't look for the King and I video tomorrow. It won't be there. Uh, but happy opening, King and I. Happy opening, Kelly. Ken Watanabe. And, and happy birthday, birthday, Kelly. Yeah. I don't know how old she is. But ha she looks fabulous. Happy birthday. She looks amazing. Mm -hmm. um, okay. So people want Broadway.com t-shirts. I don't think we have any right now. Fanny Bryce. Jeremy Jordan as Fanny Bryce. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Because so, it's so uh, female and Jeffrey good. just outed Kelly O'Hara's in age. Um, oh, really? She's younger than Sutton. Well, I don't know. I, I don't talk about that. We I don't talk know. about any ages. Uh, They're ageless. I don't know. They all, I don't know. Whatever. Anyway. They're all younger than me. You'll get our fun home response tomorrow. Should have been you reviews. Yeah, that sucked. Yeah. I like that show, too. It's all fun. right. Anyway. It's fun. Enough. We could just sit here and talk all night, but um, that's going to get dull. <laughs> so, uh, Beth, wave goodbye. Bye. And, and check in tomorrow.